First, let's review the contents of the Scott Shooter Trainer System Box. On the side, you will be able to see the marking for which particular model you receive. The first thing you will be seeing when you open the box is the instructions manual. The version that you are seeing now is in Russian, however, if you are an international customer, you will be receiving an English version of the manual. As you can see, the instructions manual is quite detailed with plenty of pictures and diagrams regarding the use, installation, and the interpretation of results from the Scott system. The next thing you will see is a warranty card. It will include all the details regarding your system, including the serial numbers of the sensor and the target unit. Here is the target unit itself. On the bottom and top, you will see the infrared and LED sensors and transmitters necessary for the operation of the Scott system. In the back, you will see the hooks necessary for the mounting of the target onto the wall. Also, on the bottom, you will see a photo tripod adapter. It will allow you to install the target onto a tripod if you don't want to install it on the wall. Also, there are two connectors on the bottom that will serve you for the connection of the target with the target control unit. The electronic target also features an adapter for smaller paper targets that imitate longer distance shooting. However, if you want to use standard kit targets, you can simply slide out the adapter and place those targets inside the frame. Then you can simply slide the adapter back in and use it again with smaller targets. The next thing we will see is the SCUD sensor. The sensor is quite small and is battery operated. In the back, you will see the mini USB port for the charging of the sensor. In the front, there is a lens. And on top, you will see a dovetail mount that will allow you to install the sensor onto the gun quite easily. The 45 feet long cable will allow you to connect your target with the target control unit and will allow plenty of space between your computer and your electronic target. Next is the electronic target control unit. The next thing is the cable that connects the target control unit with your PC. This is the assembly for the mounting of the sensor onto the gun. There are several ways of doing it and we will review them all in detail later. Next is a USB cable used for charging of the sensor. It's got software CD with the drivers and system software in two pre-printed targets. The targets are dual-sided and designed for different distances and disciplines. However, you will be able to print a variety of targets later on directly from your system. One of the ways of sensor installation is by the means of a barrel insert. However, the first thing that you must remember to do is to make sure your gun is dry and safe to use in order to avoid injuries. The first piece you will need to find is the barrel insert itself. You can locate it in the plastic bag with the mounting accessories supplied with your kit. The barrel insert is quite a small piece with the dovetail rail on the bottom. The dovetail rail allows you to connect the sensor to the barrel insert and then to the gun. Simply slide the barrel insert into your gun and gently but firmly tighten it with a screwdriver. You should also make sure that the barrel insert is aligned with the axis of your gun. When the barrel insert is inside the barrel and is fairly tight, you need to simply slide the sensor onto the dovetail rail of the barrel insert and tighten the connection. 
then you need to make sure that the sensor is fairly parallel to the barrel of your gun. What it means is that the axis of the barrel of your gun must be parallel to the axis of the sensor in order to provide necessary accuracy. The second method is with the use of a mounting prism and of an adjustable metal plate. This is the adjustable metal plate. On one side it has a built-in screw. The small black piece in my hand is the mounting prism. On one side it will have a hook that you need to connect with the metal strip and then wrap the whole assembly around the barrel of the gun. When that is done you need to tighten the built-in screw until the moment when the assembly is fairly steady on the barrel of your gun. After that, the only thing you have to do is simply slide the sensor onto the dovetail rail and tighten the connection until the sensor will be installed in a proper manner. The systems equipped with our WM9 sensors are the simplest in terms of sensor installation. The only thing you need is a 9mm gun and the sensor itself. Simply slide the sensor into the barrel of the gun. Do it gently but firmly. You will need to apply some force. This method allows you to install the sensor perfectly aligned with the gun's barrel and sights. In the back of the electronic target you will see two hooks necessary for the mounting of the target onto the wall. Simply slide the target on two screws that should be drilled into your wall. Next, slide out the adapter and you will be able to place the kit targets into the frame of the target. Slide the kit target into the frame and then connect the target with the cable that will then run to the target control unit and subsequently to your PC. When you are done with the installation of the target onto the wall, you can proceed with the connection of the target with your target control unit and subsequently with your PC. First, connect the electronic target control unit with a cable that comes from your target, and then connect the other end of that unit with a USB cable to your PC. The USB cable that you will be using for that is the same sort of cable that you usually see with any printer. It's a standard printer cable. Now you're ready to proceed with the software installation. When you're done installing and connecting all of your hardware, you can proceed with the driver and software installation. Insert the CD that came with your kit into the computer and run the driver file from the installation CD. It's a very simple process. Simply click through all the menus until the installation is complete, accept everything that it asks you to do, then install the software itself. Run the program and once again accept all the menus, read through the license agreement, and finish installation.
When software installation is over, you can run the SCOT program. The first time you run the program, the first thing you will need to do is select the Start Practice menu. If there are several shooters that will be using the system, we strongly advise you to select a unique name for each shooter in order to allow you to save your results for later review. So I will select a generic name John. After you are done with selecting a name, you need to select a target. There are a few convenient filters that allow you to search through the targets easier. Today I will use a classic military target N4 for a distance of 25 meters. You simply need to click on the target that you desire to choose and click the start button. The system will then ask you to calibrate your gun. In order to successfully calibrate it, you need to manage to get the marker inside the inner circle of the calibration screen. Finally, I will demonstrate the calibration process in a sample training session. We need to manage to get the bullet hole inside the inner circle, so we'll try again. The calibration is successful, you can simply close the calibration window and proceed with your training session. Ten shots have been made, the training session is over, now you can review your results. In the bottom left corner, you can see the individual score for each individual shot. And in this table, we can see the total scores and review each shot individually. If you press the stub button in the top left corner, you will be able to replay each shot individually. Simply choose the shot that you want and press the replay button. It will allow you to see the entire trajectory before you've made each shot. The analysis of this trajectory could help you work on all the errors that you commit during your training.